All right, welcome to this video. What we're gonna do here is we're going to delete everything that's in our index.php file, and we're gonna start on the application. So since everything is rerouted to run through our index file, we'll need to uh, make sure that the application all starts here. And so this is going to be the simplest index.php file you've ever written probably. But we're gonna open our PHP files and we're not gonna, our PHP tag, and we're not gonna close it. And then what we wanna do is go ahead and do our session start. Okay, let's go ahead. And... All right, so we got our session started there first, so that we can work with sessions. And then we're gonna go ahead and define a few constants. Um, so on Linux and Windows and Mac operating systems, the uh, directory separator it can be different. So let's just go ahead and just define that. Uh, PHP gives us a pretty nice little thing that we can do here. Um, so we're just gonna call it DS so we can use that anywhere in our application. And uh, we'll use a constant called directory, directory uh, underscore separator. All right, and then um, what we can do there is let's let's just go ahead then and echo uh, ds. We'll go back to our application here and refresh, and you can see it's for me it's going to be forward slash. For many of you, it'd be forward slash. If you're on Windows, it may be up backslash. So that's the reason we're doing that, um, and then we can make use of that later in the application. So let's go also and define the root. And PHP again comes to save the day and gives us a uh, magic constant that we can use. So that is two underscores. So make sure you're using two underscores and then all caps file and then two underscores. And then let's go ahead and just for fun, let's echo root and make sure that's working correctly. Okay. Refresh. And now you can see the root of my project is this is on my server or my my computer here is forward slash applications forward slash forward slash exam forward slash exam files forward slash hd docs forward slash rua um we don't want to have to type that in a bunch of times so now we have that constant that we can use throughout our application okay so we're almost there um but let's let's do this let's, let's go ahead and create a variable here that we are going to be able to use later and what we're going to do is we're going to say if is set um, path info. Okay, so we'll do a ternary operator here. So if that's set, I want to explode. I want to explode with a forward slash. Okay. And then um, what are we gonna explode? Well, um, we're gonna do a left trim here. And we'll grab the server, path info. Okay. And we're going to get rid of the left forward slash there. And if not, we're just gonna give it an empty array. So what we're doing is we're actually creating an array from our URL. So um, before we do this, let's just go ahead and um, let's echo server path info. And let's kill the page here, oops. Let's kill the page with a die and refresh. And so you can see that I have users register 568. So now I know that this is uh, my path. And I want to break this apart by my forward slash and turn that into an array. So that's what this next line does here. This line here, URL will actually be an array. So let's just var dump URL. Okay, and we'll refresh. And so now you see we have an array with three elements. We have users as our first element. Our second is going to be register, and our third is 568. 
Great, that's working perfect. Um, the last thing that I want to do is just go ahead and require in a file that we haven't created yet, but we will. So require once, and we're going to go ahead and use some of our uh, constants that we set up here. So we're going to require in the root ds core um, directory separator again, and then this file that we want to actually call is uh, require in is bootstrap.php. Now this isn't bootstrap file for uh, our CSS, it's not the framework, it's going to be our bootstrap file that handles our application. Um, so let's go ahead and create that. So we put it inside our core bootstrap, so inside of our core folder directory here, create a new file and we'll just call that bootstrap.php. And for now, let's just make sure that's working and we'll say hello from bootstrap. So I like to, when I'm developing, I kind of like to just, I know it's a little extra work, but um, I tend to uh, do small things like this um, instead of writing a bunch more code. Once I required this, I want to make sure that my path is correct. Um, if, I, if I've somehow messed up my path, for instance, if I um, forgot a directory separator here or something like that, and now I get this warning, and it's like, well, require once, no such file or directory, and I look at it um, on line six, so what's going on? Um, then I can go ahead and troubleshoot it now before I get too far down in development. So small incremental progress, make sure things are working as you go, will save you a ton of time. Anyway, that's just a little tip and I hope that helps. I'll see you in the next video.